came by to get fitted for the maid of honor dress. Well, according to Ethan, that might not be necessary. What is Gwen talking about, Ethan? Looks like Ethan may not be marrying me after all. What? He's got cold feet. Tell her, Ethan. Well, it's not what you think, Teresa. Of course I'm going to marry Gwen. She's just teasing. <laughs> you should have heard him. He had the nerve to admit to pre-wedding jitters. You know, I should be mad at him. But how could I possibly? He's way too cute. Especially when his cold feet were brought on by a dream about some other woman. Another woman? Yes, and he won't tell me who. Well, I can't... See, that makes it worse, Teresa. Dreaming about some strange woman. Teresa, any ideas of who that woman might be? Gwen, look, you better cut it out or you have Teresa thinking you are serious about calling off the wedding. I mean, what's the difference who I was dreaming about? You're the woman I love. Hmm, okay, I guess you're forgiven. Unless you think I'm letting him off too easily, Teresa. No, no, not at all. Um, but wh where's the dress? I, I can't wait to try it on. And I can't wait to see it on you. I, I would have been here earlier, but it's been kind of crazy at Whitney's house with Chad recuperating there. What happened? I forgot. You, you don't know. Remember how Chad checked himself out of the hospital too early so he could take that job on the prom boat? I, yeah, I never understand how he managed to keep himself from drowning, not to mention Whitney. Well, it took its toll. He lost so much blood that he almost died. Oh, my God. Damn it. I, I knew he looked bad. I even asked him about it. Well, don't blame yourself. Everybody did, but, but he, he lied and he said he was fine. Luckily, Kay and Simone found him and, well, he had collapsed. Oh. Well, look, I've got to get over there and see.